Welcome back everyone, welcome back to the how to videos on HP Quick Test Professional. Today we're going to look at how we can use uh, HP QTP uh, to try and capture different labels that you'll find in the web pages besides specific fields. For example, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you mortgagecalculator.org, uh, give you a quick overview of what we are trying to test using QTP. So as you notice here, there are fields like home value, loan amount, interest rate, loan term and so on besides the web edit fields. I'm sure you know how to work with the remaining edit fields uh, and how to see if they are visible, if you can enter value and if the application is behaving the way it is supposed to. But how about if you need to check to see if home value is appearing besides this field, if loan amount is appearing besides this field or uh, start date is appearing before, be, besides the uh, month web list. How can we do that using QTP? So for this purpose, I have generated a short code in QTP and this code will give you a high level overview of what we will do. So main code is very simple. We have created a function called check label besides edit. What this will do is, if I pass the label text as the first input parameter and the class of the object that I'm looking for besides that text label, okay? For example, uh, the loan value had a class of web edit or loan term had a class of web edit besides the uh, label loan term. PMI also had a web edit but start date had a web list. So that's my function and these are the calls to the function. So the main code is only this much and I'm checking for three different labels besides two web edit fields and then one web list. So quick peek at what the code logic is all about. So the logic is very simple. We will start with creating um, a simple descriptive object for our page. Then we will create another description object which will contain objects of type table. As you see here, HTML tag is table. All right. Now, once I have found that out on that page which is currently opened, I will find all the child objects which belong to the description object my table. So this will now return me a collection of objects in an array format which will be of types table in that web page. Once I get that, I will go through each table within that list that we get and within that each table we'll get the row count first. After I get the row count, then I will get the number of columns for that specific row in that table. Since this can be dynamic tables, you can have uh, a mixture of rows and columns within each. So you will get the column count for that row. We will then go through each column in one specific row at one table at a time and see if that cell data in that row and column matches with whatever we've passed to this function. So the first time it will check to see if loan term is the label that is found there. If it is not, then it will move on to the next iteration. So this will continue to loop through the entire web page until it finds a label in that web page. Once it finds, then we will start to print that we found, yes, the label in the page then comes of what we will do next. So in that table, I will find the child item which is in the next column, same row but the next column, all right, for that specific label. Then what we're pointing is in that table, web page table, which is not visible for you, but QTP can look at the code, it will find to see if there is a web element or uh, of any web class that we pass in the next column to in that row. If that exists, then we will print the class and we will have a message like also found object of type web edit with name, whatever was the name property beside that label of text. And that way we will continue to loop through different things. So let's do a quick run to see how the output will be 
when we execute this code. So predominantly what we're going to focus in is um, not the web page because QTP is not going to do anything on that web page. It is only going to read information. But what it will do is it will start to print. There you go. Here's a first print. It says found label loan term in the web page. Also found object of type web edit with name param term. That is the name property beside loan term. So that it has found and it has reported. Now it will move on to the next one. I, what did we give the next in the code? It will be searching for that. It's taking time. Then now it's found the label PMI in the web page. And we also found the object of type web edit with name param PMI beside PMI. So perfect. So this application is having the information the way it is supposed to have. The last one we're checking for is a web list, uh, just to show that this simple function can work for different types of objects, different types of labels. Now you can go ahead and use the same function, reuse it for uh, gmail.com, um, yahoo.com or wherever you want. As long as you have the fields labeled next to them if you have the field labels above this like you what you will see in yahoo mail then you have to all you have to do is go back to your code and instead of saying row comma column plus out here you will start saying row plus one comma column in the same column but we'll go to the next row right and then here's our final print log. So if we found all the three labels and we also found the expected object type next to it and we also displayed what the name is. So if you also want to put a check for the name, you could do so. All right. Thank you so much uh, for listening to this short uh, demonstration of uh, QTP capabilities and what we could do and how we could enhance our testing, uh, regression test suite with using QTP. If you need to contact me for any reason, you can find my contact details uh, down below. Take care and bye for now.